Hi, Glenda. A lot of people came out for this tonight. A lot of people inside Cobo Hall, but also a large group outside protesting. At least 7,500 people are in attendance at the NAACP's Fight for Freedom Fun Dinner tonight. The massive sit-down dinner is a significant networking opportunity, and it raises money to target problems and issues facing people in Metro Detroit and to help bring the city back on track. All of the issues that are coming out of Lansing are certainly a concern for the NAACP. It challenges people who uh, are part of the groups that we have supported over the years. Uh, we've got to fight for those people. But while the celebration was a joyous one inside Cobo Hall, people protested one of the night's special guests, Kid Rock, because of his use of the Confederate flag in performances down south. You use it one place, you use it all over. If you denigrate the black population someplace, you're denigrating them someplace else. He'd be crazy to do it here. He's never put a Confederate flag in this in this concert community. Uh, it's always down south, and that's what they do down there. Do I like it? Of course not. But does that demonstrate to me that he's not the kind of person that we can support? Absolutely not. And he wasn't the only one that was honored tonight. There were several people who got awards, including President Reverend Wendell uh, Anthony, the president of the NAACP, and also those Detroit police officers who were injured in the 6th Precinct in that shooting. Now we're live at Cobo Hall, Julie Bonovich, Channel 7, Action News. All right, thank you, Julie.